A team of architects and scientists from around the world used infrared thermography to look at the pyramids of Giza during sunrise, just as the sun was heating up the limestone from the outside. They did it again at sunset as they were cooling down. The thermal cameras detected higher temperatures in three adjacent stones at the bottom of the pyramid. The causes of these irregularities in temperature are still unknown. They still don't know what it is, really, uh, Margaret. Here are some of the official theories that they have going about why there are different uh, temperatures going on when they're, when they're scanning these, uh, these, these stones. And in layman's terms, when, when I say thermography, uh, when they're using infrared thermography, I mean they're, they're basically blasting heat sensing cameras at these rocks. Um, so they see stuff like this on the camera, and they say that these could be empty areas inside the pyramid, kind of like a tunnel, for example. Uh, maybe internal air currents, maybe the use of different building materials, maybe it's Ben Carson, we don't know. Uh -huh. it, it, it could be anything, basically. But, but, but nonetheless, I think everyone's agreeing that these are really cool, and a lot of people different uh, are referring to them as anomalies. Uh, I think that in itself is cool. Now, the whole idea of a tunnel inside of a pyramid, I think, shouldn't be taken off the table. I don't think that's crazy. Uh, unlike Ben Carson, I, I understand that there are things that we don't know about the pyramids. And, right. and I think that's definitely uh, a hidden chamber, a hidden hallway or something is definitely not outrageous to me. Th these are huge structures. We haven't, we, we can't go inside of them, right? So I, I think there are definitely things that could be there that, that will definitely lead to some awesome discoveries. Well, King Tut's tomb, namely, right. and we're still uh, learning information. It's still unfolding about this. You know, Howard Carter and Lord Carnier, Carnier then, uh, two Brits in the 1920s, discovered this tomb. We're still figuring out things about this tomb nearly 93 years later. And uh, more information is coming up, but the fascination with the pyramids alone and Ben Carson bringing back, you know, the pyramids into the American psyche right now, it's, it's interesting. And, and with this information, it's, it's pretty cool. It's there is fun. that there is that tantalizing theory about King Tut's tomb that's right. going on right now. They're also scanning his tomb as well because what they believe is that his tomb isn't actually a tomb. It's kind of like a courtyard leading in to a much larger tomb. And if they think that if they keep scanning these these tombs that they're going to find more vacuums in there that could potentially be another tomb. And whose tomb it is, they think it's actually Nefertiti's because they still haven't found hers. That would Supposedly his his mother or his stepmother, we still don't know. But I I think that's really awesome that that they're they're using these, this, these scanning methods uh, because you can't go in there you know, and start breaking walls down because everything's painted with beautiful hieroglyphics and it's very sensitive. Right. So. Not filled with Joseph's barley, I'm assuming. We don't know that. We don't know we, that. We do we not know that sure. for sure. We right. can't. I, I guess we're going to have to keep doing these sorts of scans. But this is all part of Operation Scan Pyramids. Uh, it's a project that began on October the 25th, and it's going to keep going until 2016. I think it's awesome. But um, I guess we're going to keep uh, having to stay tuned with these kinds of things and kind of see what's, what's going to come from all this. I, I'm sure we're going to find some really cool discoveries in the near future.